Hey, boy. Susan Patterson used to help about 40 dogs from other countries find homes every month. Today, it's a struggle to complete even one adoption. It's one thing after another, um, and so it's it definitely been super stressful for all of us. Right from the start of the pandemic, her charity, Thank Dog I Am Out, has faced roadblocks. We've had to pivot and pivot and pivot over and over again because flight cancellations, you know, positive COVID tests, um, lack of travelers. But Canada's hotel quarantine program has proven to be the biggest challenge so far. The charity relies on flight escorts, volunteers who travel with the dogs from their country of origin. Since the introduction of quarantine hotels, few are willing to make the trip. We had dogs that were scheduled to fly, fly in in February and, and March, and the flight escorts were cancelling because they were not willing to have to check into a hotel at a high cost to them. It comes at a time when demand has never been higher across the industry. Pre-COVID, for a popular dog like a puppy, um, we would get around 10 to 20 applications tops, but during COVID, we'll get an upward of 50, sometimes even 60. Before the pandemic, Tian found that a lot of people wanted to adopt, but didn't feel like they had enough time. Now that COVID-19 has sidelined most extracurricular activities and many are working from home, that's no longer an issue. Tish, Yuri, come, come, come. For this dog mum, the extra time has allowed her to adopt a more timid dog. The world is better set up for introverts right now, and these dogs need a little bit more space. Six feet is about perfect. People petting them suddenly frightens them at first. It's like the easiest time to train a new dog. While the past year has been difficult, Patterson can see a light at the end of the tunnel. And despite the stress, she says it's worth it. Once you start seeing these happily ever afters and you know where they came from, there is no option to stop. Joel Ballard, CBC News, Vancouver.